Mexico City, a place where past and present converge in a colorful tapestry of remembrance and celebration. Bienvenidos to my digital diary of adventures. I was invited by Tadat Travel to experience this incredible place during the Dia de Muertos festivities. This is part three of my trip. the Mercadito in Cuyacán. They have so many beautiful things. Oh, you man, esta amiga le brige a mi mamá. ¿Qué nos pintan? ¿Qué nos pintan? Ah, sí. If I could fit that in my suitcase, I would take it home. So beautiful. And of course, Frida Kahlo is everywhere because this is her town. A ver, Mateo. On a journey with Tadat Travel means unlocking a world of amazing places to visit and the best local spots to eat. They not only introduced me to incredible, authentic flavors, but they also helped nudge me out of my comfort zone. Amando el sol, cada día sigo sacando espinas de lo profundo del corazón. En la noche sigo encendiendo sueños para limpiar con el humo sagrado cada recuerdo. Cuando escriba tu nombre en la arena blanca con fondo azul, cuando mire al cielo en la forma cruel de una nube gris, aparezcas tú. Una tarde subo una alta loma, mira el pasado y sabrás que no te I just am blown away. I seriously cannot. I feel so inspired by Frida Kahlo, by her home. Just the fact that she went through so much, found a way to still find an artistic outlet and look at this beautiful place. It's just, ah, like I love this. I just feel like there's so much life here in her home. She has such an interesting and fascinating life and obviously she was an extremely talented artist. I feel like I just want to go and learn more about Frida Kahlo and her life. I feel so inspired, truly. Pienso que cada instante sobrevivido y al caminar y cada segundo de incertidumbre Hasta la próxima. It is so cool. 
So apparently this is the market where Frida Kahlo would come when she was a little girl. So many beautiful things. Ay, mira nomás. which I don't know very much about, but the best part about coming with Tadat Travel is I don't have to plan anything, I don't know what we're doing, I just follow along and then see amazing things, learn amazing things, so it's pretty cool. Of mixed emotions, mixed feelings about everything in that museum. The general conquering of Mexico and how much suffering that caused the indigenous people, all the classism that was brought by the Spaniards. While I was in the museum, I actually looked into a girl from Spain and she was really nice and I was just asking her some questions about, you know, her perspective from the Spanish side and I was asking her, you know, what do they teach in your schools? Um, and she was just kind of talking about, yeah, like they teach that, you know, Spain came over here and we conquered Mexico. She said she's having a really interesting experience also just learning about you know what exactly that meant, um, how how that looked, um, you know it's just different you know when you say something like that on the surface it's just different versus the depth and the reality of it. It was really interesting for me to see the um, paintings of the different classes, 16 different classes and me as a Mexican-American I am I feel like I'm portrayed in there. It's just so interesting, like, my mother is white, my dad is very dark-skinned, and where I would have fallen there. But then I think about, well, how much classism, you know, not, not technically, but kind of, still exists today. It's just all really interesting. It's a really cool experience to be able to walk through that museum here in Chipotebec and just continue to learn and gain a greater appreciation for history. Going to Mexico for Dia de Muertos is an adventure and a thrill for the senses. The sights, the sounds, the tastes, the smells, the inspiration and tug at the depths of the heart. If you're looking for adventure, you'll find it in Mexico. <laughs> 